Good morning. We are dealing with that first accident of the morning. This is westbound on 290 at Mushki. You can see all of those flashing lights and these cars just waiting for that lane to open. One thing to note here, Feeder Road. Feeder Road is moving with no issues here. Certainly some good news that there are workarounds, but like I mentioned, this is causing some pretty big delays just past Cyprus westbound on 290. That accident now causing about a mile delay. One option other than the feeder take Cypress Rose Hill to Cypress Wood. That should get you right around the incident there. Not only are we tracking this, but we're also watching some very dense fog out there as well. You can see on the Northwest Freeway, no issues on the other side, but look at the Gulf Freeway at the causeway. Very difficult to see anything, and this has been the primary concern to our south and to our west. We're seeing some of that really intense, dense fog. The deeper the gray color, the harder it's going to be with visibility. Specifically, portions of I-10 beyond Katy towards Sealy, 290 up towards Brenham, but also if you're heading down to the coast, 288 towards Lake Jackson and the Gulf Freeway, the closer you get to the island, the more intense fog you're going to see. As for our drive times heading out the door, currently we have all green lights, woodlands, 25 minutes getting downtown and just 23 minutes coming up from Sugarland. Guys.